Good morning, dear students from first grade. Uh, welcome to our English class of today. The date of today is October 30, uh, 20, 2020. Today uh, we are on the class number six. Um, okay, uh, the class objective is to discriminate by listening general and specific information about culture in the media. In the media. Um, el objetivo es discriminar auditivamente información general y específica acerca de, el título es Culture in the Media. Ya, cultura, dice, en los medios. Page 105, en la página 105. Uh, the materials we are going to use is uh, the book of English, a copybook and dictionary. Of course, we are on unit three. Estamos en la unidad tres. The arts, las artes. Um, and we are on phase three. Estamos también en la fase número tres. Okay. First of all, we are going to check um, the keywords and smart reading uh, for the reading del, of the last class, Inspiring Artist. Vamos a hacer una retroalimentación acerca de eh, la, la, la lectura, ¿cierto? Titulada Artistas Inspiradores de la clase pasada. We go now to page 96. Here we are. This was the reading that you have to, um, to work. You see, um, you have to uh, translate main ideas from each one, traducir pequeñas ideas, cierto, ideas principales de cada uno de los párrafos, y luego contestar um, el ejercicio de keywords and smart reading. Um, here we are going to answer a cast. The meaning of cast is um, molde, okay? Molde. This is the meaning of cast. Molde. Uh, second word, this is tank. It means estiércol, okay? Melt. Uh, dank, estiércol, uh, melt, it means uh, derretir, derretir una sustancia, derretir algo, ya. Bowl significa poste, ok. Uh, sparrow, sparrow, here, es un pequeño ave y significa gorrión. En todas las ciudades ahí, ahí existen estas aves, ¿cierto? Um, spirof, styrofoam eh, significa poliestireno. Those are the words. Esas son las palabras, ¿ya? Ok. So, cast, junk, melt, pole, sparrow, Styrofoam, molde, estiércol, de, derretir, poste, gorrión, poliestireno. Casi todos, la mayoría son eh, sustantivo, cosas, ¿cierto? Excepto melt, que es derretir, ¿ya? Es un verbo irregular. Now we are going to check uh, the smart reading exercise. Aquí la idea era, ¿cierto? La instrucción dice, read the text carefully, identify the paragraph in which these concepts are mentioned. Um, identificar los párrafos en los cuales estos conceptos se mencionan. Letter A, a very famous reggae singer. This is paragraph one. Okay. Then. It says an African, an African country. 
Esto se menciona en paragraph, paragraph 4. Ok, this is mentioned in paragraph 4. Letter C. A new, um, a new insulation material in paragraph 2. It is mentioned. Letter D. Letter D. An ancient empire. This is mentioned in paragraph number three. Letter E. Uh, the capital city of England. Paragraph one. Okay. Then, then, letter F. The name of little animal. This is mentioned of in paragraph three. Okay. Letter G. Materials taken from nature. This is mentioned in paragraph four. And finally, letter H. Some artificial material. This is mentioned in paragraph two. Okay. Paragraph two. Um, and the things. A very famous reggae singer, it, 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 it is uh, Mr. Bob Marley. Se menciona a Mr. Bob Marley in the paragraph two. Okay. Let it be an American country. Um, this in paragraph four, and it is Canada. Yeah, the country. Let us see a new insulation material, and this is styrofoam. Styrofoam, yeah? Um, let it be an ancient empire. The ancient empire mentioned in paragraph three is Rome. Then, letter E, the capital city of England, of course, is London. It is mentioned on paragraph one here. Ya en, en este paragraph, en esta lectura se menciona aquí está the capital of uh, England, city, um, the city of London. Okay. Le then letter F, the name of a little animal. It is mentioned in paragraph three as parrot. Ya. Pequeño animal, sparrow. Se menciona en el párrafo 3. Then, materials taken from nature. Materiales sacados de la naturaleza. It is mentioned on paragraph 4. And it is stone, snow, and sand. En el párrafo 4 se mencionan estos materiales. Stone, piedra, snow, la nieve, sand, arena. Taken from nature, ¿cierto? Materials taken from nature. Nature. And finally, letter H, here we have some artificial materials. Uh, in paragraph two, en este párrafo se menciona, ¿cierto? Some artificial materials. Uh, for example, uh, it is mentioned plaster, rubber and styrofoam. Plaster is yeso, rubber, goma, and styrofoam, eh, polystyreno. Okay, so paragraph two. Okay, don't forget eh, to develop the short translation for if each paragraph. Eh, desarrollar una pequeña traducción para cada uno de los párrafos. Eh, más eh, lo que acabamos de revisar. Si ustedes me mandan solamente estos ejercicios desarrollados, eh, significa que han dejado de lado la traducción, lo cual es muy importante para poder entender mejor el ejercicio. Ok. Ok, now eh, we are going to, to go to page number one. To remember the objective of the class. Vamos a recordar el objetivo de la clase. Discriminate by listening general and specific 
um, information about culture in the media. We are going to check here. Okay, now discriminate by listening general and specific information about culture in the media. Now we go to page uh, 105. 105, uh, this is the listening that you are going to you are going to work today, okay? Here we have it. Okay, now we are, the, we are going to uh, have a look at it, a listening file, uh, page 105, página 105, yeah? Here we have the page, you know? Page 105. Okay, so in the first part, listening file and artistic night out. Okay. El, el título dice An Artistic Night Out, eh, una, una artística noche eh, fuera. Cuando se habla de night out significa como una artística noche eh, para disfrutar, ¿cierto? Para salir, ¿ya? Eh, se trata de una visita a un lugar donde existen obras de arte y ustedes van a escuchar y van a ir discriminando de acuerdo a lo que escuchen. ¿ya? Eh, first, eh, first um, we are going to check eh, general information. General information about style and tone. Vamos a eh, eh, escuchar, ¿cierto? Y encerrar eh, información general acerca de style and tone. You have to circle here letter A if it is formal or unfriendly. Si no saben el significado de esas palabras, hay que chequearla. Formal, parecido, similar to Spanish, and unfriendly. Then, letter B. According to what you listen, you have to circle informal or friendly, okay? Now, we go to main topic, main topic, tema principal. Here, here you have to, uh, you have to check, put, put an X, sorry. You are going to write an, an X. For example, which of these is our is or our main topics. Si ustedes quieren marcar, cierto, el tema principal, más de uno, ustedes pueden marcarlo de acuerdo a lo que escuchen. A, preferences in music. B, ideas for things to do. Uh, C, future activities. D, Dublin night attractions. Ok. Entonces, ustedes marcan de acuerdo a lo que escuchan cuál es el tema principal. Then, specific details, detalle espe específico. The nationality of the artist whose show is on the, uh, on the, uh, the gallery. Um, nationality of the artist. Uh, Portuguese, Japanese or Chinese. You also please mark with an X. Marcar con una X, ¿cierto? De acuerdo a lo que escuchan. Um, then, it says, work of art created by the artist. Um, here, you have to write the style, you know. A, 
el estilo. B, style. C, the name of the picture. Eh, then, then we have to write the names. You will have to write the names Mickey or Clay. Who said that? Mickey is the name of one of the participants, cierto, in the visita a esta galería. Or Claire. Claire is the other chica visitante in the gallery. Write the name. Eh, you will write uh, M for Mickey. M. Or you will write C for Claire. Okay. M or C. Si usted opina que la letra A la, la sugiere Mickey, usted va a escribir ahí M. Si piensa que lo sugiere Claire, write the letter C, eh, capital letter. Eh, letter B suggests going to an art gallery. C describes the art style. D and decides where to go in the end. And make conclusions. Here you will have to answer in English, please. Responder in English. Please, okay? Answer in English. Uh, do, do Mickey and Claire enjoy doing the same things? Um, Mickey and Claire, disfrutan haciendo las mismas cosas. Luego, it says, now, letter B, why does she change her tone in the end? ¿Por qué ella cambia el tono al final? A medida vamos escuchando, nos vamos a ir dando cuenta, ¿cierto? ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que escribir en cada una de las respuestas? ¿Ya? Ok. Here we are. This is the listening. Pay attention to what it says and how to, to mark the correct uh, options. Track 32, Student's Book, Unit 3, page 105, Exercise 1. So, what do you want to do? I'm not sure. It's a tricky one and I'm kind of tired. Come on, Claire. You said we could go out tonight. I know, I know. How about going to the cinema? No, not cinema. Let's do something different tonight. We always either go to a concert, to the cinema, or simply visit friends and play our guitars. What do you have in mind? We could go to the new arts gallery in Grafton Street. The famous Yayoi Kusama show is on. Yayoi Kusama? What's that? Who is that? The famous Japanese artist. Tell me more. Her works are all about dots, loops, colors, and lights. Big dots, small dots, pink dots, black dots. They represent her idea of infinity. I'd rather stay home and play video games. I got the new Dragon Master. Mikey! We should at least try to come up with something more exciting. How about getting a bite to eat in that little restaurant on the corner? No, we will definitely go to the Kusama show and only then we will get some Chinese takeaway and visit Trevor in Walkingstown. Okay then, you are right. Let's go to the gallery and do something different tonight. Okay, that is uh, the visit to these two friends to an art gallery. Um, okay, so please, you have to answer this page uh, and send the activity to the email egonzalez.cmch.maristas.cl a date of ascending, please, on Monday, November the 2nd. A fecha de envío, el 2 de noviembre. Um, I hope you are doing well. Um, of course, this is the last class from the phase three. Esta es la última clase de la fase número tres. Okay, so I hope you have a good time. And of course, you, you can work easily this uh, activity of listening. Goodbye, dear students.